Hi there guys, my name is Samuel and today we shall be taking a look at the 75294, the Bespin Jewel set, which of course is from Star Wars episode, uh, technically episode 2, but then it came episode 5. The Empire Strikes, Strikes Back for the 40th anniversary, and this was going to be released at Star Wars Celebrations 2020. And well, I cannot believe I actually own this, as you know, or, mo or if you do not know, basically, long story short, this only got released in America, Canada, and Mexico after the event went down. It does have 295 pieces, not sure I said that or not, but here you can see the set. Wow, this is such a good set. But if we move it this way, you can kind of see that is, I would say, the best way to display it because, of course, you can see Luke, and that is kind of like that iconic scene right there. So, what we'll do, we'll take a look at the um set and then we'll take a look at the minifigures. So, taking a look at the build first, I'm doing it this way because the figures are already in. Um, pose and it is so hard i'm not kidding to get luke to pose like that it's just it's a lot harder than you'd think it definitely was for me i thought it was a lot harder than i thought so first off here you can see we have this sticker that says the 40th anniversary empire strikes back and there you can see well it says 40 the empire strikes back there you can see luke and vader the silhouettes and those are not the minifigures those are the ones from the movie you can see by their outfits and yeah so this is the base it's built on it is basically three studs tall but then it has these inverted tiles which i like the way that they've built it is quite a sturdy way then we have these two by two blocks which i honestly thought these were discontinued because these, these is this is some from like the 70s like an original one so i kind of thought they got rid of them but no they didn't which is quite interesting and then here you can see this area looking up um, looking at all the detail here, you can see that they've added some hinge pieces, which kind of just round everything off and just perfect it, which I think it just looks so good. So looking at that, then here you can see it goes all the way round. Then you can see these um, pillars. And then here you can see that um, the long beam that Luke does walk across. And there's the top there, which I will show you more of this in a minute. There you can see that if you wanted to see directly down it, that's what it looks like, which that is pretty awesome and then if we look at the, the um, back side of this which i think this is really cool what they've done they've actually given you a clip to put the lightsabers it doesn't say to put them there but there's two clips it makes sense and the reason i do it here not the handle it's cool because then what you can do you can kind of put luke's hand on there as well which is good so then you've got a place to store that so i'd recommend it if you wanted to do that famous um, shot which most probably you most probably do want to do because if you've got this set it's most probably most star wars like fans because this is any Really, if you like Star Wars, most people will like this scene. If you don't like this scene, please, please say in the comments. That would be really interesting. But, that, yeah, there you can see that, which I think this just looks really cool. This area there, you can see all the detailing. And then if we look above here, you can see this, like, little landing area, which I really like the look of that. It just looks so cool. It's kind of bigger than I thought. And then also you've got these really annoying handrails, which I've never liked these tube pieces. Just trying to get them to angle perfectly just never happens. I don't know, like, sometimes I see other YouTubers like Jang Bricks and um, other YouTubers who get it really well, but I just can never get it. It's always really annoying. But, um, hey, it is what it is. There you can see Vader, which is such a good Vader. And there you also can see these pillars which those would be um, filled, but that's where Vader snaps that in half when he's um, going for Luke. So now here you can see this walkway area, which is pretty cool. And that is one thing, guys, I do want to say. That part was fallen off quite a fair amount of times. So it's probably like my fourth or fifth time. So that's kind of annoying. And that's only when I'm moving it, not even like playing with it. Because, uh, yeah, because it goes on display. But um, yeah, so here you can see this, which I want to show this side first, because this is the less iconic. These, This is used by the two bracket parts, which is pretty cool. So I kind of, um, if you wanted to do that, you could be. Um, doesn't really make sense. But yeah, as you can do that. And there's also that set, which is the same and mirrored on the other side. But then if we take a look at this, so here you can see it from this side. I think think it looks really awesome there you can see the pillars up there as well so that is what it looks like from that side and this is really the part that we want to be looking at so here you can see we have got luke hanging off here which wow this looks so awesome the fact you can kind of have luke just hanging off there there you can see luke there honestly i think that is so good and there you can see the build and uh, there's not really um well you can just see it there i think this is such a good build it's, it's quite a messy build if that makes sense in a good way it's like lot that's what it sounds cool like when there's a lot going on like lots of connections a messy build but i, I mean that in a good way um tend to be a good way but there you can see luke hanging there which is really 
really cool. And then here you can see Vader here. So that is the build of the set. Now I want to kind of go through the set and show a few different action poses. So here you can see Vader and Luke starting off off their fight, the, the ascent to the pivotal moment. There you can see them, which I think that's really cool, the way you can have Vader here. And then Luke there, because it depicts that scene really well. And here you can have Luke where he's about to strike Vader, which in that one split second you think, has he got an advantage of Vader? But then of course he doesn't. Then here you have got Vader cutting Luke's hand off. And then here you can see Luke moving to the end where Vader is about to do his speech. And here we have the scene where Vader is revealing to Luke that indeed he is his father and he is asking him to join him and they can rule the galaxy as father and son. This is such an awesome pose. Like, personally, this is how I'm going to keep it with Luke screaming no and Vader um, asking him to join him. It just looks so good like that. But there, um, yeah, it just Here you so can awesome. see Luke Skywalker in his best being dual outfit, which this is a really good minifigure. It's a bit of a shame that it's not now exclusive only to Cloud City, but it's still good because it makes sense in this set. And I think because it have how rarely set is, it makes sense. But now he's coming in a Lego magazine that um, releases here in England, uh, Germany, and a few other countries, which I find really annoying because it would be ju good just to keep him to an exclusive to uh, these two sets. But anyway, there you can see Luke, which is really cool with his outfit. I do like the look of that. You can see some mud printing on his belt, I presume from Zegabar, which is really cool. And of this course, the legs are also in another set, so it makes four for them. There you can see the back and look taken off his, his hair. There you can see his other face, which he looks a lot more cool and um, calm for this scene. Would have been cool if we'd got another expression for this. I think that would have worked well. And there you can see that's where his hand goes, which it doesn't say to take it out, but we all know it shouldn't be in there. You can see that, and you most probably know what it you know what it looks like. It just is in like that. But yeah, it's, this um, lightsaber's got the shinier hilt, which is cool. And I don't actually have any bubbles in mine, which I don't think I've ever had, or rarely. Like 2020 has been a great year for lightsabers without bubbles. And then, so there we, of course, we do have Luke, which is such a good minifigure. And then finally, guys, my favorite minifigure this set. Again, you may be seeing this minifigure pop up kind of like Spider Ham in the very near future. Here you can see Darth Vader. He is as um, most probably as. Oh, what is the term? As cliche, it may be the term for this. Um, Vader is my favourite villain because he's just so awesome. So there you can see Vader. His printing looks great. I really like the arm printing. It's cool because I'm not gonna. I don't want to get that big set. It gives me a chance to get him. I think that looks really cool. The arm printing is honestly great. And just to get a good Vader, like a really souped up version, is really awesome. And I like the fact he's only in two sets at the minute. You can technically get the legs in another set, but I mean like the main part, the body and arm printing is only in one removing his lightsaber there you can see his printing which i think it looks great to be honest i like the printing there and there you can see his helmet which i think is molded really well i think the only thing is if they could bring the sides in just a tad it would be perfect and then there you can see vader there which he looks pretty um well he doesn't look the most happy so it looks a bit tired but yeah there is that which i think that is so awesome so there we have the minifigures which honestly this vader figure is so good and yes there is the red lightsaber which again i don't have any bubbles in it which i very rarely ever had so that's great and there you can see the handle so yeah i really like the fact that it's a quite a clean um one for that but now let's um take a look at the overall set and my final thoughts and due to this being quite a rare set or a very rare set really i wanted to show the box so here you can see it says best being jewel with the um, uh, the rebels logo up there which is really cool and then here you can see all like the um, piece counts and information which i really wish we had that in here you can see it's 20 centimeters tall 23 um wide nine inches and eight inches we don't really use inches here in england but there you can see that guys which is what i was depicting it looks so awesome there and there you can see with this i think they could have used the part that they introduced the angry birds the um net the um what do you call it the um yeah that piece the um yeah for the eggs that's it the egg piece and they could have um popped it on here and it because um, it was reversed it would have worked i think that would have been good but there you can see the box which is really awesome so yeah the box is really cool there is a ding there but that is completely fine and then looking at the manual which well i couldn't fix it just talks a bit about this scene which is really awesome pause like if you want to read it and yeah there you can see luke and vader so yeah th th there is one thing though it doesn't actually have the handle that he holds on to which is a tad annoying but it doesn't matter so that is the set now let's actually go on to now the actual there outcome. we have it guys i hope you did enjoy this review what do you think of this set guys do you like it um yeah honestly i think it's such a good set it's just the fact that it hasn't been released like globally honestly i think it would have been cool if they if lego had said we would release this globally 
but there's only a limited stock and it has to be at a certain time, like like 3 a.m. or something. I know as crazy as that sounds, but then that means only really the hardcore collectors. It would be, so I don't know, in a way it seems fair, because then it means the hardcore collectors would be able to get this, if that makes sense, putting it at a time, because then it's limited. And I think it would give anyone a fair chance because for example if there was younger people who wanted it they could maybe ask their parents and maybe they'll be able to stay up late and because it's near christmas time as well i think it was would have made a really good gift for lots of people who are a fan of star wars and especially this is such an iconic scene so yeah i think that would have been really cool but yeah apart from that it is a really awesome set so yeah i really like it i like the fact that you can put the weapons there and yeah i'm gonna keep it right here I think it looks cool, especially behind the Avengers Tower. I like the fact that I can just have it here next to my desk while I'm working away. So that's really cool. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I shall see you in tomorrow's video, guys. I'll see you there. Bye for now.